In this video series, we're going to be looking at the top 100 tips that uh, you can use in order to enjoy your brand shiny new Windows 8 operating system. But before we start diving into these tips, um, I would like to just give you a little bit of introduction about this operating system. As you can see, uh, this is the latest, uh, greatest um, Microsoft operating system with a lot of changes. It is designed uh, uh, so that the experience on the uh, Windows Phone 8, uh, the tablet and the PC can be similar because I'm sure that Microsoft must have looked at the phone when they launched the Windows Phone 8 and think to themselves that well, I think we should be able to trans uh, to transmit this kind of experience onto the desktop as well. And if you actually go on like uh, Amazon, uh, you can read the review how people have accepted it and I don't think uh, the uh, review app, the, they actually not very positive for Windows um, operating system the Windows 8 it is a it's a complete redesign from what uh, the desktop used to be uh, so this is why a lot of people are not really happy because if you're if, if you're looking at what I'm doing right now I'm using a Mac I'm actually uh, running this on a uh, VMware uh, environment so uh, it's a virtualized operating system uh, but it's a complete Windows 8 it is very colorful and it's very different. It was redesigned with uh, touch screen in mind. When they were designing this thing, I'm sure even though it can work perfectly for a PC, a desktop uh, PC, but it was designed for a tablet in mind. And if you use this on a laptop uh, or a desktop, the experience will not be as good as if you're using it on a uh, on a on a tablet. So um, just let me run quickly through the some of the requirements. Uh, you need in order to install Windows 8 operating system and you need a minimum of 1 gigahertz uh, processor or faster you need a 1 gig of RAM uh, or 2 gig for a 64 bit if you're running a 32 bit operating system then uh, well 1 gig is enough but if you want to install it on a 64 bit uh, architecture then you need a 2 gig the hard drive space you need is just 16 gig for a 32 bit and a 20 gig for a 64 bit uh, the graphics card uh, you need a graphic that will support Microsoft Direct X uh, 9 uh, with WDDM driver um, additional requirements you need will be to use a touch you need a tablet or monitor that supports multi-touch and uh, you need a resolution of one one zero two four by seven six eight and also to snap apps which I'm going to show you there for example let's look at the weather uh, application you can snap up uh, so I can snap this is a store now if I want to snap another app I can grab it and place it to this side so this is how you snap apps and they said that for you to do that you need a resolution of 1366 by 768 so um, these are the requirements for this operating system it's, um, it's quite cheap because for you to upgrade from Windows uh, 7 to Windows 8 you just need to buy the uh, Windows 8 Pro download for $39.99 which is about $40 I think in the UK it's about £35 I'm not sure but it's actually quite cheap I mean this is the first time I've actually said to myself Windows is selling cheap stuff because usually I think uh, Windows software are very expensive and the, you can also get the uh, upgrade DVD to be $69.99 um, definitely uh, you sh I think you should consider buying it I think this is the future of desktop to be honest even though you might you might not uh, like it but the fact that you can uh, um, you can merge the experience on a laptop with a desktop and a phone I think is a quite and this is where Apple is going as well because if you look at the operating system they're introducing a lot of, a lot of things that you found in iPad an iPhone so I think the future of computing will be to merge all these mobile devices that we have and combine them so that we can also see the same thing on desktop and so uh, this is just an introductory video just to uh, tell you the requirement and in the next video we're going to talk more about some of these tips uh, we're going to talk about Android tips and uh, we're going to look at the first one in the next video thank you